Welcome to Full Sports Press. I'm your host, Brian Hill. This is the sports show that's seen those videos of Britney Spears and thinks she's fine. You know, just completely, well, don't go play the video. No, okay. See? Completely normal behavior. Who amongst us doesn't want to dance provocatively every once in a while? It's just, no, she's crazy. We begin with pregnancy news. 23-time singles Grand Slam winner Serena Williams and husband Alex Ahanian, a man who when you first saw him, you said, him? Announced that they're expecting their second child. The news has led many to speculate that Serena might come out of retirement to push for another Grand Slam, considering the last time she had a baby rattling around inside of her, she won her seventh Australian Open without dropping a set. Now, though it appears the only person perpetuating these speculations is me and me alone, we here at Full Sports Press fully endorse a Serena comeback because we believe that cold meat sandwiches, tight shoes, and kitty litter are the only things stopping pregnant women from total world domination. In other news, West Virginia basketball coach Bob Huggins is in some hot water following a good old fashioned derogatory chit chat on the Bill Cunningham show. Absolutely, I mean, you, you, I tell you what, any, any school that can throw rubber penises on the floor and then say they didn't do it, <laughs> by God, they can get away with anything. <laughs> I, 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 I rubber penis. Was this I like think a that was at the Crosstown shootout, wasn't it? I think it was transgender night, wasn't it? What? Was that it? It was a, it was a Crosstown shootout. Yeah, no, what it was was all those, <laughs> those, those Catholic <laughs> <I> think, <laughs> All right. They, they, they were very envious they didn't have one. <laughs> well, Steve, your comments about Bob Huggins. Is he the best? He's the, he's the best. <laughs> uh, one, they were all so comfortable. Now, now, as quickly as Sam and Bill tried to change subject with awkward laughter and relentless praise, the damage was already done. A media storm was brewing that would make those penises thrown in the Xavier game look like nothing more than a drizzle. A former University of Cincinnati coach catches heat for homophobic remarks about Xavier University fans. Story again today, West Virginia head basketball coach Bob Huggins still on the job tonight after making some homophobic slurs on WLWT, or excuse me, WLW, of course, radio yesterday. We are following breaking news on former University of Cincinnati men's basketball coach Bob Huggins. About three hours ago now, Huggins reportedly made a homophobic remark about Xavier fans. Like any public figure who gets caught with their bigotry hanging out, Bob Huggins did what y'all do. He issued a public apology that looked like it was spit out by ChatGPT. The apology was 127 words long and honestly, one of the most well-crafted and concise apologies I've ever seen. But the thing that really makes this apology great is not the words, but rather the stylized background on which the words were posted. I mean, look at the textures, the cool color quotation marks, the, the random ink blot, it says, I'm sorry about the offensive stuff I said, but have you heard about the really cool and awesome graphic darts department we have? Pretty sick, right? Now, despite repeated calls for Huggins firing, West Virginia decided to hand out their own punishment. We've got breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ from college basketball, where West Virginia will suspend men's head coach Bob Huggins for using a homophobic slur on a radio show in Cincinnati on Monday. He'll also receive a million dollar salary reduction and will have to partake in sensitivity training. Now I understand that people out there are gonna have contrasting opinions on this. Some are gonna think that the punishment was too light while others have ears. As for us here at Full Sports Press, we feel that the most significant thing to come from all this is West Virginia's ability to turn a seemingly untenable situation into a win. They were able to retain the services of a Hall of Fame coach for a discount of a million bucks. If I'm an AD or a GM, this is the blueprint. Go out there and get your coach who's a legacy coach booked to as many boys club podcasts as possible. And quick, somebody asked Nick Saban what he thought about the Crows and Dumbo. Now, of course, you're gonna have to get them screened. You know, this isn't like the, this is like the ski ball of bigotry. We're not looking for a pride parade or a Westboro Baptist church. What we're looking for is Thanksgiving with grandma. She didn't mean it like that, and she comes from a different time. And as much as your cousin hates introducing her really good friend from Portland to grandma, she's also got to have that rhubarb pie. It's about as delicious as a trip to the Final Four. So all you ADs out there, get your recorders recording. It's discount season. Huggins isn't the only person in hot water following an on-air goof. Oakland A's announcer Glenn Coopy, if that's how you say his name, got a little too excited when he accidentally dropped the N-bomb with a hard R. 
He had a phenomenal day today. Your League Museum and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue. Cooper apologized during Friday's broadcast. A little bit earlier in the show, I said something didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to. Um, and I just wanted to apologize if, if, it, uh, if it sounded different than I meant it to be said. First of all, this apology is terrible. Not only does it make no sense, but the real problem is, is the lack of, is the, lack of uh, the graphics package. Where, where is it? You can't apologize for something like this from the hip. Look at Mikey Hugs. Do you think he wrote that? No, he fired up the notes app and half-assed it. Anything more than one butt cheek is overkill. Now, like Mike Huggins, people are calling for Glenn's firing, which in my opinion doesn't make any sense. This man isn't racist. He clearly misspoke. No one is racist is that excited about going to the Negro League Museum. Shit, I'm black and I wouldn't have been that excited. So let's pump the brakes and assume that this guy just probably watched one too many Tar Quentin Tarantino movies before calling him a racist. Well, we're all guilty of saying stupid shit, but we have to be aware of the context. Was he yelling at a group of school children? No. Was he saying disparaging things about black people in general? No. He was hyped about a museum showing off the history of black baseball players. It would have been worse if he didn't have a good time. Now, Huggy Bear meant what he said and got suspended three games, and this poor bastard has been suspended indefinitely because he probably felt uncomfortable saying the word Negro. So you can be mad at Cooper if you want, but before you lead him to the gallows, ask yourself, which one of these guys meant what they said? The guy scared of flying dildos or the guy who's excited about black history? That's all for this episode of Full Sports Press. Join us next time when we interview the professional hang glider squatting in my attic.